Let me just uh, show you uh, some hand, a couple of hand calculation formulas. Hand calculation for regression computations. I want, first of all, you remember that we should be able to compute this SXX as one thing when we are doing regression computations. The SXX was, or is, the sum of squared deviations. And as I told you in the main lecture, this is to be recognized as the usual x variance multiplied by n minus 1. This means that we can apply the usual variance hand calculation formula for this part, obviously, giving us actually the formula that comes as the sum of the square of x minus the square of the sum of x divided by n. And this I'm not going to prove to you because I proved that earlier on, actually. Now, similarly, actually, a similar formula, that is the new thing here for regression computations, if you want to do them by hand, um, is that a similar formula pops up for this covariance term or the cross product term, which, as you remember, by definition is the sum of the x, sorry, the sum of the x deviances multiplied by the y deviances. Um, so this one, we can go on and do the multiplication of the, of the terms, and then it becomes the sum. I'm going to find the Helgen calculation formula. That would be xi, yi, uh, plus xi, um, sorry, minus minus xi y bar minus x bar yi, and then plus x bar y bar. That is just taking the two by two terms of this, uh, uh, of, of the sum here. Then we can plug in and say, or take the first term that just stays as it is, this term. Then we go to each of these individual terms, and they will actually boil down to a single term in what uh, would be the usual way for such formulas. Uh, let's look at it. We take the first term, that would be y bar, and then the sum of xi, that is the same as n times the average of x. That's the sum of all the x's. That was the first term. We take the second term, that is, x bar times the sum of the y's. That is then x bar times the sum of the y's, which is n times the uh, average of y. And then this is not depending on i, so that is just n times this term like this. So now I use the summation sign on each of these three terms individually. And here we now see what becomes uh, one version of the hand calculation formula is that it's the product of x and y. And then since we have minus two of them and plus one of them, altogether we have minus n x bar y bar, or sometimes uh, then shown as the same formula, sum of x, y minus the product of the sum of x and the sum of y divided by n. That's the same formula. So that's the basic hand calculation formula for the, this x, x, y term. That was my point of this little video. Thank you. <laughs>